Hi, I'm Gloria Campola, a licensed massage therapist and continuing education provider. Today we're going to talk about pharmacology and herbology, what every massage therapist needs to know. Did you know the amount of people dying from prescription drugs is absolutely devastating? As massage therapists, we need to know what medications our clients are taking. Do you know? Do you know that the average person takes 10 to 12 prescriptions daily? Surprising, but true. Drugs interact with drugs. There will be chemical reactions. Drugs interact with herbs, and drugs interact with food, and drugs interact with our massage techniques. Massage therapists need to understand how medications interact with the massage techniques they are performing. Do you know? Do you know what medications your clients are taking? Have they told you about all of them? Often clients don't even tell their doctors. They may be on pain medications, analgesics, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, which is the most common if they're coming for things like muscle spasms and pain in their body. This is a brief overview to make you start thinking and to educate you a little bit on what's really important and what you need to start learning and finding out. Many clients might have heart disease or diabetes and could be taking what's called statin drugs to reduce cholesterol. Many massage techniques are ineffective if clients are taking these drugs. If your client is diabetic and insulin dependent, they might be taking injections. Do you know you should never massage a site of an injection ever because it might affect the release of the drug? So these are some general precautions you need to understand and know. The effects of different massage strokes and the goal of the session must all be taken in consideration if your clients are taking medications. Drugs related to blood clotting factors, you need to know about those, things like Coumadin and other blood thinners, including aspirin. This is a contraindication for massage therapy because we are increasing blood and blood pressure. A physician's release is required if a client is on this type of drug. Let's talk about our massage actions, how they're classified, which ones affect what? There's mechanical strokes. These include your effleurage, petrissage, and friction techniques. These techniques, as we know, warm a local area, they soften the tissue, and they bring blood and lymph to that area. So we're talking about specific areas. The local somatic reflex is touch or compression, vibration or shaking, friction, and stretching, traction, or movement. These stimulate the local sensory receptors in the muscles, tendons, and ligaments, the contraction and relaxation response. Then we have this systemic reflex. This is effleurage, friction, rocking, and depotment techniques. These techniques stimulate the ANS, the autonomic nervous system, to change levels of the neuroendocrine substances. Chemical changes affect the whole body system with those techniques. Then we have mechanical system effects. This includes effleurage, which affects the cardiovascular system, and depotment, which affects the nervous system. These techniques physically increase systemic blood and lymph flow or physically stimulate the peripheral and the central nervous system. Gene Wibble's book, Pharmacology for Massage Therapy, published by Lippincott, gives you many details and all the information you need on prescription drugs. Herbs and prescriptions are often combined because most people don't realize that herbs are actually medicine and they feel that they're safe. There's been a lot of talk about things like St. John's wort or valerian root that interact with prescription medications like your antidepressive medications. White willow bark is also similar to an aspirin. It's a salicylate, so it's a blood thinner. Some people might be taking immune system support supplements, and we need to be aware of those as well. 
And with our products, many of us have lavender in our products, which is very common. So if someone is taking different things to relax and calm them, well, so does lavender. How much do we use? Use caution. Remember, herbs are medicine. Herbs interact with prescriptions. Prescriptions interact with prescriptions. And prescriptions interact with foods. If you haven't thought about how all this affects your massage techniques and you'd like more information, I offer live and online seminar trainings for eight CEs. You can get more information on my website, www.massageproce.com. And if you have any questions, you can email me at massageproce at gmail.com.